Back for another sunny day in Sicily, let's take a closer look at the forces. So, coming down uh, from their victories in Ina, down into Capo d'Orlando, we have the ever-present Paris. So we have a full company of Paris who will be chasing the Herman Goring once more till they run out of room on this island. They've got some uh, Greyhound uh, scouts to lead them along the way. And then we have a Sherman company that is caught up from the beachheads. So we've got our, our full Sherman HQ with a full platoon, a full platoon of the M5 Stuarts and armored mortars. And then for our Firestorm, it was rolled off that the armored rifles are apparently escorting these uh, this tank platoon. So um, a good combination and a good uh, combined arms force. Let's see what's left of the Hermann Goring to, uh, to oppose us before their destruction. The last ragged remnants of the Hermann Goring's uh, frontline panzer division that they've been able to set up here in defense. Uh, we have the decrepit remains of a Panzer III mixed company. Uh, all Panzer III's in this instance. We have an HQ Panzer III, uh, two platoons of four uh, up-armored short five centimeter, or sorry, long five centimeters, and uh, the Panzer III's with the short fives are supposed to be long fives. We just ran out of models. Uh, supporting the formation, we have a battery of three Nebelwerfers, a platoon of five Panzer Grenadiers, a platoon of two half-track mounted 2 centimeter AA guns and a Panzer II OP and we rolled for our firestorm getting the dreaded Tiger tank. This is the last Tiger left in Sicily at this point so once this game's done he's out of here. So that'll be the Herman Goring last line defense as the rest of the division is attempting to evacuate through Messina. On to the game. Turn one, we'll be going straight into the movement step. Ben doesn't have any reserves or anything like that to do, so uh, we'll be right back after the movement. All right, American movement step. Ben, take us through it. All right, so we had a very aggressive move step. We need to get uh, some ground, get onto these minefields to clear because they've choked off half the table mm -hmm. before walls of a farmer uh, Panzer III show up. So pretty much everyone is actually dashed, uh, trying to do their cross country, so they've avoided a lot of the terrain and areas. Uh, the Stuarts really gunned their engines. They're all the way up here behind the uh, behind the vineyards. The Paras are following them to deal with the the minefields there. We've got uh, the light and armored infantry moving up towards the hill pass. The third para platoon has come over here to escort the Shermans, who have stayed behind the crest in a bit of a valley. So, barring anything up on the peak of the hill, they'll be hidden for a turn. And then the only thing that's remained stationary is the armored mortars and they're going to try and drop some uh, shells down on this hill, which will really be actually most of the targets they're going to have all game. All right, so we're, uh, we're going to figure out where he wants exactly to place it and be right back with some dice rolling. All right, so we're spotting in on top of the mountain pass here. Just uh, want to quickly show the... Pretty much the only shooting is going to be we're just going to drop some shells on top of the hill. Yep. Uh, where we'll get all of the infantry on the reverse slope and the OP. It is clipping that last one. It just didn't look like it because I'm on an angle with the camera. So um, We're going to need some fives here. Uh, five skill, five, but plus one for the hill. No. Nope. So sixes, right? Um, oh, yes. Uh, their skill is five plus yeah. sixes. Mm, it's close. Oh, well, we on the it. third attempt. All right, so. Boom, so that's up here. Uh, so we're hitting on sixes. Yep, uh, so we ranged in. Uh, we're hitting on sixes there. You've got five MG teams and one P2. Two, three, or a Panzer four, two. sorry. Five and a Panzer two. We'll just roll him. Yeah, of course it that's hits. That's one hits. Um, and I'll go down the line from uh, left to my edge. No, no. Close. Uh, no. Uh, yes, One. and the two stand, no. All right, so the MG team will save. And then what was the ET? It's two, uh, right? So just don't roll a one. I don't like how you jinx me. Okay. <laughs> I had to say something else, because if I leave it at that and then roll, I'll roll the one, just Asprey. Uh, okay, so that does pin my infantry platoon. Uh, and that's a pretty good, strong start for Ben's uh, maneuvers. And we'll be right back with German turn one. So, German turn one. Yep, uh, we're going to attempt to unpin that platoon on the bridge line there. They are confident, so on a four plus, they don't unpin. Perfect. It's good for you. And then I get one die for yep. reserves because it's immediate deep reserves. 
and I will not get a reserve this turn. So I do appreciate that. Thank you, sir. We will move right into my turn. Well, so we actually, actually did moved. see some German movement, which was a little surprising. Uh, what do so we got? I started by placing my ambush, which after I did it, we realized I was supposed to do in the starting Probably step. I on that, but it's in there. Whatever. No difference. Uh, otherwise, uh, I fell the infantry platoon back off the ridge into this little dell here. Uh, and I pushed forward my AA assets to help secure my flank while I'm waiting for my reserves to come on. I've left my Panzer II observation post up top to spot for my naval warfers. Uh, otherwise, uh, we'll get right into shooting. Let's see what we have. Okay, so uh, we're going to start with the naval warfer. I'm going to use my P2 observation post on the ridge line to spot it into the orchard here on top of the majority of the airborne company. Um, so my skill is 3+, plus because I'm a veteran unit. Um, I've got short terrain underneath it, so I'll be ranging it on a 4, so let's see if I can do that. At least a second turn would be good. First attempt. Good. On the second attempt, so we All will right. range in. So I'm going to put down a marker, and then I'm going to quickly count how many bases, and I'll be right back. So Neb roll out. Uh, hitting on 5s, yes. Okay, uh, so we checked. Uh, the only teams in here that aren't under the template are the bazooka here, this rifle team, and then obviously in there and I got I think one steward under the template I completely forgot to check yeah just the one steward though I really don't think I'll hurt it uh, so we'll just start here we'll start with your formation commander on a four plus or sorry a five plus nope and then we got well I guess work from here so bazooka first get to hit this guy okay this guy Could wow you get those out of your way now <laughs> Yeah, save them for later. I showed up today. He's like, I already rolled my 1-6 for the day and then proceeds to open that with 3 sixes. This, this one. This dude. This last bazooka. You know what? Five hits, too. You could roll this. not a 6. <laughs> well, I'm rolling plenty <laughs> of 1s and 2s. Uh, so now this platoon, this bazooka. No. This team. Yes. See? There. I rolled a 5 just for you. Team on the fence. This team. Mortar. This team, and lastly, this team. Okay, and then the steward, as I pick up the fence okay. line with me. I hit the steward, so I actually have to check with the... Well, well you roll your say, roll a one there or two as well, I believe. Um, so we have one, two, three, four, five down the line and a steward. Uh, four of them are in the first platoon. All right, we'll roll the bazooka from the furthest platoon. He's good. Then we've got... Just three rifle teams, I think. One two I'll re-roll that one a bit hey one rifle a team. we have the bazooka that goes That's down big. and the steward. the steward so it's anti-tank two there you go. He's good. Awesome so just one bazooka two pins that's you know that's not bad it's not great it's not bad uh, so we'll take that off in a second uh, just to quickly move along, we're going to do the Panzer threes that ambushed in the ridge line. They're just within range to hit a couple of teams on that right flank platoon. So we'll throw their stationary rate of fire in. Uh, you're at long range, but I'm going to target the dude in the open, so I'll just be hitting on fives with six cannon shots. Cannon shots to some para boys. I get a hit. So essentially, as we joked about before we started filming, he took One all guy. six shots. And he lives, Woo! so he's fine. He ducks. All right, so Civil that's the War end. Civil War cannonball style. <laughs> yeah. That's the end of German turn one. Moving right into American turn two. All right, American turn two starting step. We've got some unpins. So the two pair of platoons, but they do Over have there. a reroll there. First one doesn't need it. Uh, First one's not sure. Uh, doesn't need good. it as well. And Fantastic. Then the formation commander... I, no, I missed him. That's right. And the stewards can't get pinned, so... Uh, unfortunately, Lots pins do not work very well in this game because nothing ever stays pinned. It does. Only my if stuff. it's yours. Exactly. <laughs> so we'll be moving right into movement. Alrighty, turn to American movement. I almost called them Germans. That's me. No. Uh, um, continuing our plans from last time. Very aggressive. The pairs, again, have dashed unopposed to try and get to these minefields. They weren't able to make it into the minefield so they won't be able to clear them for the record next time did try to oppose them with my nibble that's so. okay uh the stewards have just gone around the vineyard for the moment so mm -hmm. they're on the road um depending on what gets cleared for them we've started a very cool looking shot with the half tracks following the greyhound scouts up through the gully pass finding <laughs> 
uh, Panzer II. The Paris here have moved in. Uh, we did lose one para. Mm -hmm. um, he hit a mine, but there's a couple there, so we can clear out the minefield for next turn. And the Shermans, up and at him, through the gap in the minefield. A couple of them are back here, while well, some are in down in the gully. Does get us on the objective, and the two HQ ones have uh, moved up into the hull down position to lend some extra fire. So hopefully we'll be able to deal with these. And everything is not giving him any breathing space as fast as I can do so. All right, so we'll roll right into shooting. All right, uh, American turn two shooting step, take us through it. So my uh, big concern at this moment, potentially being exposed as I clear these minefields this turn, is if he gets lucky and brings in two big platoons of tanks. So we are gonna go ahead and use the mortars to fire a smoke barrage. And I wanna cut off this valley here so my Shermans don't potentially have to face Tigers or a wall of extra up-armored Panzer threes coming in next turn. Um, give us time to actually solidify control of the objective. Fair enough. So we're going to uh, range in the smoke there. Uh, we need just... Straight fives? Something slightly better. Ooh. But we're not getting it this turn. A worthy attempt. It's okay. Hopefully. I mean, the thought makes sense. Absolutely yep. blocking off that line we of sight. We have a few shots. Mm -hmm. Uh, we've looked at where the Panzer three is. We're going to have the one Stuart, and then actually some of these guys are going to use the 50s up. The one uh, 50 here is in his side. Oh, and well, it might be potential front. I just realized the turret is facing that way. Oh, yes. Uh, but, I mean, it's we roll it. front armor three, side armor one. It's not that big a difference. All right, we'll do the Stuart. <laughs> we'll start with these smaller shots first. All right, that uh, so important. that will be... Does the Stuart have stabilizer? Yes. Okay, so I am concealed, and I'm a scout unit, so... You are under five, 16 six. now, so sixes. Plus Four, one for five, stabilizer. Six. Stabilizer seven. back to seven. Sorry, we thought it could actually hit it on a six, my bad. Oh, potentially though. Please don't. Please don't. Okay, oh. <laughs> that was close. I don't like that. Okay, um, and then... Um, I'll do the, uh, the 50s 50 there. First. Uh, so yeah, we'll need... There's no stabilizer, so just yeah. sixes. sixes. Oh, got a hit. All right. One, uh, any roll tank. to see where oh, it hits. Oh, uh, one, two, or three, it's hull. Four, five, or six, it's top. Okay, I'll roll that. Uh, one, two, three is hull. Yep. Good. Okay, so side armor one against anti tank. Uh, I think it was four. I believe, yes. It's been a little while since we played, sorry, guys. I mean, not for me, but I haven't used a 50 in a while. Yes. Side four armor and okay, five. Four. All right, so I need a four to equal. No, a three to equal. That's a one, so firepower five plus, and you kill my P2. No, but you do bail it out, which means it might just stay bailed out. Oof. Okay. So that um, was un 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 unexpected. That's fantastic. <laughs> I never got to do it. It's theoretical, but everything ends up still being heavier armor than they can shoot, even in mid war. Uh, we do have a Jeep here, the lead one. We're just going to machine gun down at the infantry there. I mean, great idea, but why not shoot the Panzer II and force a morale check? It's also got a 50, doesn't it? Uh, you know what? I do not like having that OP up there. It does have a 20 mil, so it could ruin your day. Sure. It's up to you. What's his morale? Um, Three plus, fearless. It's a uh, OP, so while you roll, I'll check. Yeah, we're we'll doing We do hit. One. Uh, his morale is... Is it last stand? No, it'd be just his remount. Yeah, okay. So it is four plus. Or actually be his normal re, uh, morale. So it's four plus. Okay, so one hit. Does pen. Erg. Can it blow up? We don't even need the morale. Oh. That doesn't count. <laughs> <laughs> they rolled off the table. Ah, no! Okay, okay. I'll, I'll give you that. I'll give you that. You worked hard for that. Uh, we'll mark that in a second. You had some Sherman shots to do next. We do. So I'm going to start with the two sevens from the hull down command tanks into the Panzer threes. Okay. Just because these are the long shot, but maybe we get lucky. We mm, scared him a time or a two. Six. Oh, it hits. Okay. I think that might actually be the first time we've done that. Uh, so you are anti tank 10. 10. I'm front armor six, becoming effectively seven of this range. So only to three to equal? Three equals. Four ignores. That goes in. But fire power three plus. That is a one. dead P3. Uh, which one was it? Uh, we'll just say it was the south side one they were shooting at. 
That is the luck we were looking for, to be honest. I'm going to use a different die. Go away. Gone forever. We do have the next Shermans. So what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to risk splitting it. We're going to do these three are in 16. And this one here who's over 16 into them. And that's an unarmored vehicle, is it not? Correct. So then we will just use machine guns into the half tracks there. All right. Uh, or into the AA tracks. Which one is it that's shooting them? The, just the one shooting here. Okay. We didn't actually check that earlier. And they... I think he's pretty open is why I picked that one. Yeah. The guy on the right looks like he's in the open. So I'll just be hitting them on a four plus. So he does have... 250 shots and two regular machine gun shots. So we will, you know what, let me even just start with them while I have it. So four shots. Um, 250s and 230s. You're an unarmored vehicle. Do four I plus. need fire powers after that? Yeah, I, yes, I think so. So we will roll them separately. Actually, so these, I'm not sure. We'll have to double check. Roll them separately anyway. Here's the 250s. We are hitting on. Uh, I think it's a, yeah, four plus. Just four plus, yeah. yeah. One, and for the regular machine guns, one. also one. All right, so I'm just going to double check if we do a firepower and be right back. Okay, so uh, we double checked. If they fail, they're saved. They're just straight up destroyed. So we'll do the here first. So on a four plus, it's good. good. And the other one is Not destroyed. Good. So we'll mark him with smoke in a minute. And Fantastic. Shots first. And so then it is the final Shermans. We'll do the two... Are the one two shots mm -hmm. um, over sixteen? So, so these, these are, are still on sevens. sevens. No. Okay. These ones be on sixes. We'll be on sixes. sixes. Okay. We two. get the two we need. Okay. Well, one hit on each of the two surviving tanks. So and two at ten, but I'll need uh, forty now. equal at this range. Yeah. So one bounces. One bounce. One, or one goes One's in. in. Straight pen. Blows and it up. Blows up. All right. Well, that was a pretty successful That's shooting That's a, a really good turn. That's the extent of it. Um, well, actually, I've got... Can the Paris see any of these infantry? Uh, no, they're too far down too from down? the hill, yeah. Then that will be the extent of the turn. All right. So uh, we'll mark the smokes and be right back with German turn two. So that was an exciting American term, at least for uh, me. I was going to say not for me. Let's see. Uh, you got some starting step to do. Uh, so we're going to start with the unpin check on that Panzer Grenadier platoon on a four plus. They will they stay, pinned, stay pinned, which is very, very bad. Uh, then we got a last stand test on the artillery gun on a three plus. The AA. Right, AA. So he sticks, he around, sticks around and the, and the Panzer, Panzer three. also sticks around. Uh, it is fortunate for both. So then I have two rolls, four reserves on five. These fives. could be important. One platoon at least comes in, which One. is good for me. So uh, we'll move into movement. Okay, so movement step. I uh, brought a Panzer three platoon on. Four long barrel, five centimeters. Ignore him. He's a long barrel, not a short. Uh, that platoon successfully dug in. They're going to hold their position. They're just within four of the objective. Uh, I blitzed forward my nibble warfers and then moved one guy up a little bit to get better line of sight. Not that it's really working much, but they didn't have line of sight to do anything anyways. So I uh, wasn't expecting my observer to die so quickly. You almost never lose him. I know. But no, I well. learned greatly with my artillery that... Make sure they can see something, even without a dedicated OP, because yep. it happens too often to me. Though normally he doesn't die because he's not in a Panzer II. Normally he's in an SDK of Z250, which you you really hate. So <laughs> he's not a fan of my 250s or Panzer III that I just can't pen with anything. Or two gets close enough to hit him. Yeah, well, fair enough. All right. So on that note, we're gonna roll into shooting. So we'll be right back with that. So you've got some shooting to actually pull not off. Much. Not much at all. So we're going to start with the Panzer III platoon here. They're going to take their moving rate of fire. That range didn't mark. not there. Uh, against the Shermans there. So I'll be hitting you in a four because of range. Over 16. I'll get a single hit. I'll apply it to the one closest to the objective. My anti-tank is, I think I said nine earlier. Nine for the long five centimeter? Yes. Okay. So you are over 16. So your armor is effectively seven. So I need a two, two to equal. Which we okay. equal. Uh, fire, fire, four plus to bail you out. I don't do that. So uh, we'll move into this Panzer here. Uh, same target, same number, or, or same hey, two. But he no, is it's not two hit. In 16. Yes, yeah, so he's sending on three. So he does get his two shots. 
He cool. does hit. I'll one. put it on the same Sherman. Okay, I need the three. That one bounces. All right, and then we're going to do some AA gun shooting at your uh, dudes in the minefield. I believe his stationary rate of fire was five. No, it is three because he's got a single barrel. So three shots targeting this guy in the open to him. So hitting on fours, getting a single hit. Infantry save three plus, I think. All I need, yeah, three plus infantry save. Damn dirty space marines. Okay. <laughs> Uh, that was a very successful shooting phase for me. This, uh, this isn't going to end well. So, rolling into American, turn three. So, my starting step is just the minefield pinned paras. And, and no then straight to our roll. movement. But so they don't they need are, it anyways. They are up and at it. All right. Which we will probably use at least one of those guys to clear that field this turn. But uh, I've got a bunch more, hopefully aggressive movement to show off in a moment. We'll be right back. All right, turn three movement takes through it. So uh, we had some very risky and aggressive movement for the pairs over here. We didn't even wait to clear the minefields. One boogied straight through. One half the platoon came through, lost a few men, nothing extensive. They did lose their second bazooka and a rifle and a rifle was lost here. Uh, I've got some teams left to clear it though so that the Stuarts can follow through. We have the cool conga line coming through the valley here, which is a cool shot. We have the M8 led the way. The half tracks are following with the first one reaching the valley floor. The Paras cleared the minefield and advanced with except for the one team that did the clearing operation. And the Shermans have all moved up and we're gonna be trying to use them to make sure these infantry can get pushed back off the objective this turn. All right, sounds good. And uh, not putting me in a good position, but uh, we'll see if we can hold down for dear life. So moving into shooting. So a little less shooting this turn. Uh, we're gonna try and repeat our smoke plan uh, before more tanks join the firing line. Fair enough. So ranging it in, we get it this time. And I have the smoke right here. I actually thought to leave it out. Fantastic. You so you got three guns firing. I think it was four inches per gun. It's pretty much a 12 line, which is this whole column. And we're gonna just drag it across to the hill line. Sounds good. And just here next to that burning one, which is smoke in itself. Okay, so that works great for there. Various small arms fire, mostly these infantry and the uh, airborne are all I gonna do, or all I need to do. We will do the two Shermans uh, from the command. Right. Uh, They've be... moved, but at least now they're under 16. So I'm just on sixes. So back to sixes. Nothing? Yeah, you can reroll the five, it was cocked. Might as well. Wanted to be a five. Okay. And these actually ones are blocked, so we're gonna do the same. Okay. They're under 16. Nothing. And then the ones here and the pairs. This is gonna be my mainstay thing. Um, I'm going to start with the pairs. I've got a bazooka a moving rifle and pretty much that rifle and they're going to shoot at this back team okay uh, so I am dug in and I didn't move last turn so that technically does make me go on the ground so hitting me on sixes okay the bazooka <laughs> almost was a six um, uh, so and one more rifle yep All right, so, so one, one rifle. infantry save it's good. It. And we're going to then do the machine guns like last time into oh, I that. I was hoping you'd forget about him. No, no. <laughs> uh, I, I can't assault him except with the Paras who don't really want to assault that. But we will do the one machine gun at mm -hmm. him. And we'll do the other... Uh, we'll do the machine guns. I got 50s and such starting at the, the back guys. Just because I don't want to push myself out of assault. Uh, you want to do the track so we'll first? do the track. Yep. So two 50s. Hit on fours. Both hit. And two regulars. Mm. So that's a no. Okay. So two 50 saves on four plus. Yes. Yep. And, and regular. 30. Okay. So he lives. Okay. Interesting. And we've got 
very bullet riddled. Uh, for 50s, mm -hmm. so this will be important for the infantry. One hit. One hit. And the regular machine guns. One hit. Uh, we need sixes. Yeah, because I'm dug and gone to ground, concealed. Uh, it is. All right, one and one. All right, so the 50, uh, I guess it doesn't matter, but I'm assuming yeah, the closest we'll 50 one. 50 and then. Oh, yeah, two. you want to assault. Okay, yeah. so the far back guy on the 50, that's firepower. And the 30 on the next guy in is a save. So just a five foot firepower on the rear dude. Oh, no, so close. Really wanted to. Okay. okay. Um, we've got some various half tracks and yep. then I mate. We're going to try and get rid of this um, this this uh, anti-air half track. So I'm going to just say these three here would be able to shoot down at them. Mm -hmm. So they're going to do that. I've got three, six, and two shots from the 50 yeah, up on the top. Should be just under 16. So just hitting me on a four. Yeah, it should be. I don't think that's what ah, it looks 16. like it is. 16 is good, yeah. even to the G. I figured. So yeah, hitting on fours. So three, six, and then two fifties. Only one. Still not impossible to, to live. And the fifties. Okay. <laughs> Still only um, one. Um. So the one save saves. Okay. Uh, so he is now the MVP. I don't care what else happens. Uh, um, all I've got left is the the Jeep and the M8. Oh, of course. Now that I've said that, he'll die. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't expecting to put all of that firepower into him, but the M8 has uh, one machine gun and two fifty shots. Oh, you don't want to do the 37 millimeter cannon? No. Okay. Not if you're on a uh, Now, was he still under 16? Because I think the Jeeps were under 16, yeah. right? Yeah, he is as well. Okay. Yeah, the 16 goes to the Jeep. Mm, can you see around the half track, though? Yes. Okay. <laughs> I'll, I'll allow it. But he doesn't hit with the 250s. With one machine gun, does doesn't hit. hit. This will be it. it. Oh, I knew this was going to happen. All right, That's so it. it finally does. I don't know. Tell Did us, stick tell us, friends. Should that have been able to shoot my half track? We still got the jeep <laughs> shots, so we'll count. That's yeah, fine. He's dead. Um, but we'll say the jeep went into it because I don't even want to shoot it at the infantry at this point. Um, I think that is legitimately all of the shooting expended. Mm -hmm. uh, they used their machine guns, yes, on yes. the infantry, and we whiffed on all hitting the tanks. So it's going straight into the assault phase. All right, might as well uh, move them in. We'll be right back after that. Bien, so here we have uh, the assaults. Uh, ben did forget about the one, one P3 three that was still alive. alive, so I did actually hit him on the side armor with only one hit. Not enough to push it back, sadly, uh, but it did kill a Sherman. So then we've got some swings to attack. And their skill is a four or five. They are fives. They kill. I will kill the one. one, and then I will attempt to counterattack. My counterattack should be a four because I'm confident. So I counterattack. I'll just uh, pile in here. One. I'll get two teams into contact. He can technically move around the dead tank. So I'll get one tank with one team, two with the other tank with two teams, and these will be improvised anti tanks. So top armor and, and I think it's anti tank two or three or something like that. So we'll swing. I hit the one tank twice. And we'll swing. I hit the other tank, and now I actually have to check what the improvised anti tank two. rating is. Is it two? So yeah. your top armor is one. Don't roll a one. Good and good. All right, so now you test a counter attack, and we have the fun back and throw. Okay, uh, counterattack is just they're basic at least confident, but we don't want to do it. Works for me. And I will fall back to my original positions and we'll be right back. Alright, so uh, my one team took the original position of the dead team, so I'm still within four of the objective, so then we're potentially contemplating some more assaults. You would have two, four, six, eight shots. I would need to hit five to push you back. <laughs> you know what? I'm, I feel like I want to do it. I feel yeah, like I want to do it. So we're gonna running through some smoke into here, and then that. He's got four to that guy. He's got four to that guy. He will come down in here.
All right, we're gonna do it. Do it up. Okay, here we've moved in. So I'm gonna do my defensive fire. I've got eight shots because I'm pinned, hitting you on fours. Right? Yes. You're careful. Yeah. Okay. I'm getting three hits by the look of it. So I'll just put it. Uh, three rifles. One, two, and three. Okay. Well, I'll kill two. Two of them. I don't like that. But it's okay. We'll just take these out, and that leaves. Oh, that'll take your bazooka out. I don't know. Well, if you I think it. I think it rolls in at the same time. I'll just take him. Sure. Use a rifle. There we go. Now you're still in contact. All right. So that's three, and the bazooka is on a four plus. So mm -hmm. three three pluses and a four plus. Three, and oh, that's it. Aren't you supposed to roll them separately because you got two different pools? Because uh, you're right. only hitting two guys. Oh, well, they, they all pass. It doesn't matter, I guess. Okay. So we've, uh, we've got we've two failed. kills here on these two here. And then I will test a counterattack. And yeah. I will fail, which will oh, give combat. him the game. So we'll be right back with our recap. All right. Well, that was a actually kind of an interesting game. We did. Uh, we don't normally have that much back and forth when you launch assaults. Normally, it's you get in, you kill me, I fall green back. Green troops. Uh, well, well, the, the paras aren't, aren't green, green. But I mean, there is a lot of green in the American, especially in mid-war. Makes assaults a little uh, dicier proposition. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of groundwork. <laughs> that poor AA track. Oh man! Uh, I was hoping he would have lived live longer. Damn. Apparently, well, I was really hoping he would have lived because him alongside the Panzer Three, I might have been able to at least bail a second one, and there go our roommates again. Yeah, back possibly. Uh, which could have forced that back, which might have left me in a better position for your Paris to assault him. But you know, would have cost it, me a turn. It uh, is what it is. Either that turn there or the turn here. I think that was going to be. Uh, a conclusion either way. Well, um, maybe. We'll see. I, I, You don't have any bazookas left in this. I was very much thinking Tiger Tank in Assault because he's got a 2 plus Assault. It's fair. It's fair. Uh, but there are five bazookas in those. So. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Forgot about that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, that, was, that was fun. Um, that was... It was interesting. Was At least it was dynamic. It was fast. fast. Though. Uh, yeah, it was so fast, but I um, I didn't think uh, I, I was hoping for a mission where I didn't have to have static defenses that I could have maneuvered and use my tanks to my advantage. So I really don't understand how people in tournaments can win defensive missions with uh, just tanks. I've I've said defensive is a little harder, um, but yeah, you you brought yourself an entire tank force and then yeah. drew a no retreat. Oh, and the deep immediate reserve. The, the immediate reserves. reserves, not as big a deal. Deep reserves and I can't have more than one tank team on at the start? Well, that's basically my entire army off the table. So um, That was, I guess, the, the risk of bringing in all our armored force. Yep. Uh, so that is the mission, or sorry, the assault on Capo... De Capo, Capo Orlando. Orlando, which will cut off pretty much uh, Palermo, Palermo from Messina. So, I mean, it's probably game over for the Germans in Sicily here, but uh, we'll play out the rest of this round, and the then Jagers we'll see... will be the only Germans left in Messina. Well, the Hermann Goring's going to fall back into Messina and then be able to leave the mainland. We're going to leave our Italian allies to defend our back line while we fall back, uh, very much just like 29th in the real off. world. Uh, it's, well, we lost a Panzer Division, whatever. <laughs> or, sorry, Panzer Grenadier Division. They're not that important. They only had a company of tanks. Oh, that is true. Uh, but yeah, uh, that, again, that might this might be the last round for Firestorm Sicily. Uh, we'll play out the rest of the missions here. Uh, we'll count up the victory points at that point. If there's even a chance in heck for the Germans to succeed, we'll keep playing the next round. But otherwise, well, yeah, we've yeah. got some British attacks to go into Messina uh, here, and uh, yeah, we'll see. The American armor is we'll pushing see. into Palermo, and that the, might uh, be the island. The 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 false are going to be defending, I think, against the British because I now have a couple of platoons of five centimeter and that's, tank guns. That's been a struggle to advance there. They've uh, they've definitely yeah. slowed down that that mm -hmm. avenue. Mm -hmm. That's what the Yeagers do. Um, we'll be back next time with uh, Palermo, and then uh, we'll go from there, guys. So you know. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, you guys liking and subscribing and you know, commenting, it really makes this worthwhile. So we appreciate it every step of the way. So, you know, you as enjoy. always, we've missed you. Yeah, it's been a little Take while. Take care out there. Keep sticks on the ice. Bye.